Happy Friday, West Rome. It's Good Friday. Uh, Jesus, uh, the, the day that uh, we commemorate uh, the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior, his death for our sins. Um, if you've been watching these videos this week, uh, you, you probably have realized by now that I am still wearing the same shirt. Um, and so I recorded these videos all on the same day, uh, sort of cheating. But anyways, um, I trust that this Friday morning finds you well. And I want to share with you from John chapter 17 today. I'm going to read this chapter. I don't, know, I don't know about you, but one of the most encouraging things that I ever hear from other believers is, Jeff, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm lifting you up before the Father, uh, before our God, and I'm asking God to bless you and help you. Um, I need prayer and you need prayer. And so what, what John 17 represents is, is the prayer of Jesus. Uh, Jesus is praying in John 17. He prays for his disciples who are with him at the time, but listen, he also prays for every disciple, every Christ follower, every believer who is coming after these initial disciples. And so there is a, there is a wave coming, of course, in Acts chapter 2, the church is born and, and 3,000 souls are, are born again, saved through faith in Jesus Christ alone. And, and then the church continues generation after generation right up to today. And we are today's uh, today's uh, church, and of course, and, and Jesus prayed for us. And so let's read uh, this uh, high priestly prayer of Jesus from John 17 today, uh, and just thank the Lord that Jesus intercedes for us today and, and does not leave us uh, without hope and without answers. He intercedes for us even now before the Father. Uh, John chapter 17, verse 1, when Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. I have manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them. And have come to know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. And I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As, as you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I consecrate myself that they also may be sanctified in truth. I do not ask for these only, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. 
The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one even as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may become perfectly one so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to see my glory that you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. What a powerful prayer that Jesus prays uh, for us. Uh, and, and it especially stands out to me, verse 23, he says there, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. Uh, the, sanctifi the sanctifying uh, process that is taking place in my life today and in, in your life and everyone who, who has believed on Jesus Christ, that that sanctifying process that's taking place is, is a witness to the world that the Father was in Jesus, that Jesus is in the Father, and that you and I abide in Christ and He abides in us. And so as you grow today, as you surrender your heart fresh and new, and I surrender my heart fresh and new to follow after Jesus, to seek to obey Him, not in our own strength, not in our own righteousness, but in, in the righteousness and in the strength and the power of the Spirit of God that lives within us. Listen, as we do that, we are a witness to the world that there is something greater going on inside of us that's coming out of us. It's a witness to the world, not in our strength, but in the strength and the might and the power of Almighty God. And so live to the glory of God today, church. Live to the glory of God. Um, honor Christ. Honor the sacrifice that Christ made uh, for, for you and for me and for all who will believe in him. Honor that sacrifice by pursuing holiness today, by consecrating our hearts. Consecrate your heart. I need to consecrate my heart fresh and new uh, each and every day to honor that sacrifice and to, to give glory to our God who loved us so much that he spared no expense in sending Jesus Christ to die for us. And so I hope you find encouragement in this high priestly prayer of Jesus today from John chapter 17, and that, um, that your, your eyes will look upward and you will behold the majesty and the wonder of Jesus Christ and what he's accomplished for you, uh, but not for you only, but for the sins of the world. And so keep your eyes peeled, keep your heart open, share Christ with someone today, share the hope that you have in Jesus today. We all know that the world needs it now. The world needs it. And so let's, let's keep our eyes peeled for the coming of Christ, but let's also keep our hearts open to opportunities to share the hope that lives within us. God bless you today. Trust that uh, you'll find great strength in the Word of God. Lord bless.